Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna and today's video, as you can see, is going to be a Shop My Stash. And it's a kind of exciting one because I'm going to be using palettes that like I forgot about, products that I you could say I've forgotten about or I haven't used in a while. And so it's really exciting because it's just kind of like buying things without really buying anything. Um, I'm really excited to try these palettes because I haven't really given them a chance in my collection. So, yes, um, but first, before we start and I show you what I'm picking up for this month and we review what, well, I review what I picked out last month, I hope that you consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that like button to let me know that you are liking the content that I'm making. Um, and again, any video suggestions, please let me know down below. Um, anyways, um, oh, and follow me on Instagram, I forgot to say that, I always forget that, but yeah. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and see what I picked up for last month. So the newest product that I had really was the Natasha Denona palette. And honestly, I've used this one by itself. I use it in combination with the Love palette and then other ones. I really love it. It's the Natasha Denona formula. If you tried it out, it's, it's like such an impeccable formula. It's so good. So easy to work with. Beautiful, unique shimmers and like the topper shimmer that she has in her regular metallics. She doesn't have any... Um, what is that like oh oh my gosh yeah. powder mattes powder mattes cream mattes cream mattes in this formula in this palette she just has her regular mattes loved it and then i also had that i tried out this month was this natasha denona love cheek duel i love 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 the blush oh my gosh you guys i fell in love with this blush it's so pretty so natural i don't go with these type of pink blushes probably because it has a little bit of touch of coral in it it's not a full pink on blush which is why i absolutely love it it's gonna be perfect for the springtime also and then the highlighter i absolutely love this highlighter too but i can't believe that i fell in love with the blush <laughs> really surprised at that and then anything else from new oh i already talked to you guys about this mauve palette you guys need to pick it up it's such such a good palette from perfusion I'm so excited to try more products from Perfusion. Like, this is such a good palette. For $5, you guys, you cannot go wrong. It has such beautiful, like, really, really, like, blinding, you could say, metallics. And then this shade right here is worth it. This shade alone is the worth the $5. And the mattes are so beautiful and easy to work with, easy to blend. You can build, they blend beautifully together. They chose great mattes to go with um, the shimmers and just to go well with each other. Like sometimes the mattes in certain palettes don't go well with each other, but this is such a great story, color story. Um, I'm trying to think what else I was new in my collection. I don't think anything else was new in my collection, to be honest. Everything was just tried and true products that I absolutely love. And oh, I do have to update you about. The two powders that I chose from Milani, honestly, the other one, the loose powder, I decluttered. It's an okay powder. I don't feel like it really did anything for me. Um, I have better pow um, powders that I love more, so I'd rather keep those and just give that one. While it's still pretty new, you know, away. And then this one, Milani, the pressed powder foundation. I've used it as a powder. I've used it as a powder foundation. I really, really enjoy this product. It is actually a really, really good powder foundation. So if you're looking for something from the drugstore that's cruelty free, I would recommend this one. It doesn't look drying, nothing like that. And then you can use it lightly as a setting powder or actually as a powder foundation. And it works great for both ways. Um, Let's see what else I have to update you guys on. Everything else is just products I already updated you guys on before. Um, okay. The one that I do have to talk about from everything from like my cheek products is this Milani Strobe Light. And it's in the liquid form. And this is the shade Day Glow, Zero Two Day Glow. Initially, the first time that I used it this month, I was not a fan of it. I think I'm going to use too much. But if you go in with a little bit at a time and you build it up to your desired, um, you know, pigmentation, blindingness, ness of highlighter, uh, you will definitely like this. I love that it's a liquid highlight. I don't really have a lot of liquid highlights. So it's more like a goldy champ champagne with a touch of gold. And I actually, using just a little bit of this product, I really, really do enjoy it. It's not something that is going to be something that I build up too much because it is you can use the most minimal amount and that thing is blinding you don't need too much so this is what it looks like right here 
and it's definitely more of a metallic it doesn't really have glitter which is why you can blend it out so beautifully and you saw that little bit amount i that's more than enough for both cheeks and the more you blend it into your skin the more metallic and more beautiful and like from within glow but still super super shiny super like shiny is a wor bad word for it but just because shiny is like oh do you want to be like a tin can <laughs> but just just beautiful glow the more you blend it in but it's still kind of blinding glow you see that it's so beautiful the more you blend it in you just use a little bit if you don't like that more of a natural glow or you can build it up for that blinding glow your preference your choice moving on to this month i'm going to be putting in the kat von d uh, saint and center palette and it's a very colorful palette as you can see very unique colors actually i'm looking forward to using this especially with springtime i can definitely use some of these more springy create some of those more unique looks and kind of delve into this formula i mean it's no longer available and i'm not i'm not familiar with the formula so i'm looking forward to really trying that one and another one that i get to play with is going to be the magic mini by juvia's place it has a lot of deeper tones so it's going to be i think a per perfect it's going to be a perfect transition palette from like winter into springtime because it also has these beautiful dual chromes that are a little bit lighter more perfect for um you know springtime and a little bit of these lighter shades that i get to work with but also these to kind of ground me just in case i want something like that i got one neutral palette that that was going to be more than enough especially considering that this is a pretty big palette pretty big neutral friendly <laughs> palette um it has those blacks which i don't really use but it has glitters i really do like the glitters in the tati beauty palette i miss her you guys <laughs> the browns a little bit of orange and a little bit of these browns and then you have that cream shade and that purple which i can create looks by this palette alone or i can use this for a starter palette and then use the juvia's place or the kat von d palette to build up those colors and i also two more of an accent palettes more than anything are going to be just my luck from ColourPop. This is definitely a green palette, especially with like St. Patrick's Day. It's going to be such a fun palette to work with. And just, I feel like greens are very much the rage right now. More of these minty colors. So I have these two minty colors and then I have these very unique shimmers. And then more of uh, deeper colors to kind of ground the look. So I, you know, kind of just don't know what I said right there. And then I also have Blue Moon. I feel like blues are really you know all the rage right now also and i really haven't worked with this palette a whole lot barely any so i'm really looking forward to working with some of these blues but actually actually also grounding it with those neutral colors because blue to me is a very intense color to work with and i don't have a lot of experience working with it and it kind of intimidates me so i'm actually looking forward to that let's go ahead and pick out complexion and then cheek products and you guys know the drill. A couple of new, um, sh single shadows I'm going to be pulling out. It's going to be Ladybird from ColourPop. Let's put that to the side. I'm going to be pulling out this one, Flower Child. And then this one from the Christy Mycelium. The Christy Collab. And then Nilanair. Nilanair. Um, Let's see what else I want to pick out for single shadows. Um, If we're going to do blues and greens, I thought it would be kind of fun to do honestly these two the fish and the water bear from the kathleen collab with her pigment and then am i going to keep anything in here let's see um as much as i love everything in here i'm actually going to pick everything out and then use those and then see what else i can put in there maybe pick out a couple more things and then that will oh ooh, okay I'm also going to pick out uh, Like a Moss from that ColourPop Chrissy collab. And then, let's see what else I have. Oh, the Cindy Grace single clip. I'm going to pick that out. And then, let's see what else can we pick out. This Astrology from ColourPop and Kathleen Light's collab. That would be really pretty to have. And then... I'm gonna grab Kitten Karma also, and then I'm gonna grab this one from Elf too. 
kind of unique shades so i'm gonna grab those and that will be it just to kind of give myself a little something to work with as far as single shadows but also making sure that i use those palettes all right oh actually also another thing that i wanted to use is a face palette actually um i'll use those okay this one from elf i think this one would be really pretty to work with to kind of see if i want to keep it in my collection i love this elf palette but i really want to see if i want to keep it or not and then um do i want to use this one from tarte no not this month but i definitely want to use this one so let's go ahead and pick out the rest of everything else um pick out two setting sprays especially because spring is coming so i'm actually gonna pick these two out the make make it last milani setting spray but it's the matte version and then this glow recipe watermelon ultra fine mist it's kind of glowy so maybe use this the beginning half of March, and then this is the last half. But just on my setting on my T zone, just because that's everything. I'll, it would be too matte for the rest of my face. So picking those out, and then foundation. Let's see, foundation. I'm actually gonna pick up the Bare Minerals foundation that I just tried in that video. You'll see before this, and then the Wet n Wild Stick foundation also. Um, especially like I said, since I'm going to school, I think that'd be great. And then I have my Project Pan foundation. That's good for primers. For primers, I want to pick up the Smashbox um, photo finish. I had this in my project pan last year, and I kind of see how much I can get use out of for the next month. And then this one, Fresh and Fit Awake Primer, Healthy Glow, Pore Minimizing Effect from Essence. I, I, I picked this up at CVS, and it's, it's a really nice primer, actually. So I'm going to use those two. And then, let's see what else. Okay, and then we're going to go to concealer and powder, guys. So I've actually used, gone and rotated through all my concealers and my powders. So I'm really glad to do that, I've, to have been able to do that. And so for this time around, let's see. For my concealers, I'm going to be picking out the Instant Bake from Beauty Bakery and the Be Bright from Koki. And then for powders, and then I have my Project Pan concealer also. For powders, I'm going to pick out these three powders for this month. I'm going to get the... Flower Beauty Light Illusion Perfecting Powder, the Becca Hydrating, what is it called? Uh, Hydro Mist Powder, and then of course my Mineral Veil because it's the newest one in my collection. So oh, why not keep using that one? Alrighty, and now let's move on to cheek products. For bronzers and highlighters, I um, kind of want to use, been keeping the milk makeup in there, so I'm actually going to switch it out with the Fenty one, the cream one, just to kind of shake it up a little bit so doing that and then a bronze another bronzer that i want to use you know what i haven't used this one in a while the ofra cement the march one so i'm going to be pulling that out and then should i get another bronzer no because i have my project pan one so yeah just those two so i'm good with those two i have my project pan bronzer so Kind of want to keep it there and then for highlight oi <laughs> for highlight i haven't used this one from elf in a while so i'm gonna be pulling this one out pull an ozone from nabla the elf one and then let's pull in a third highlight do i have any cream ones no i don't think so let's pull in what's this one ah see that one let's pull in fuego I don't have any of this color fuego from um, Dose of Colors, so I'll be using those three highlights through the month. I'm excited. Kind of a little bit of everything. And then I also have those e.l.f. ones too to kind of throw that in there. They're little different colors, so I like that mix. Maybe layering highlights, that would be kind of fun. And then blushes, 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 blushes. I have those three e.l.f. blushes. But I definitely want to pick out some cream ones. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. I'm picking these four out for cream blushes. I have Joy and Bliss from Rare Beauty. I have Magic Hour. Uh, Magic? Yeah, Magic Hour from Tower 28. And then I have this blush stick Aloha from ColourPop. So I'm going to be using those four. And then um, let me look at this part. Um... I think that's it. 
If I feel like I need another one through the month, I'll just pull it individually. But I think that's all I want to use because I kind of want to concentrate on my cream ones. And then that palette that I just pulled. Yeah, I think I'm good for now. I have ton, tons of blushes, you guys. But yeah, so let's go ahead and move on to lips. You can see that's where I keep my dirty brushes. <laughs> now, lips, I did pick out in advance because, you know... It just takes, I have a lot of lips and I just wanted to make sure that I'm going to be doing something new from now on. I'm actually going to be picking out glosses. I do need to buy like another one of these with just lips so I can use that for glosses. Um, but yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay, anyways, let's, let me show you what I picked out. As far as liquid lipsticks, I picked out... Manila from Ofra, um, Verona from Ofra. I picked this one. I don't. This one's a little bit new to me. Rose Nude from M Cosmetics, right here. This one is Moth Story from Dose with Colors. Lolita from KVD, and then Fearless from Rare Beauty. So I picked out quite a variety of like textures as far as liquid lipsticks. So I'm kind of excited for those. And then just from Cream Regular Bullet Lipsticks, I picked out. Picked out one kind of darker color, and this is from NYX Crazed. I picked out Platinum from Nabla. Matte Beauty from uh, Mac, from Milani. Kind of forgot that one. Virgo Moon from ColourPop. This is in their Velvet Blur uh, formula. And I'm bringing back uh, Elf Praline and then uh, Parker. Because I kind of put them in the back. You can't really see it when I put it in the back. So I need to make sure that I'm not using the back for anything. Um, unless it's just something extra. It's just I can't get to it and I forget that it's there. So, And I did have a lot of lips for February. So, yeah. Doing that. And then for lip glosses and like light lipsticks or what is that called? Like tints and things like that. I picked out a whole bunch. I picked out six. Let me get the six. Um, I picked out six. What is that called? Six drugstore affordable, and then I picked out six um, high end ones. So I have from the color Pop Christy collection, I have Glacier. Then I have this one from the Retro Elf Retro Paradise that came out last summer. They still have the lip, this one with the lip liners collection on Elf website. So if you want to check that out, this one's from Alamada, it's been discontinued, but this is Luna. Oh, this is one of my favorites, you guys. This is one of my favorites. And then from. Uh, uh, three from ColourPop, their Lux Gloss. I picked out Come Through and what is this one? Check In. More mauve, more neutral. And then just a tint crayon, which I absolutely love these. In the shade. What shade is this? Oh, Z Boys right here. Z Boys. So those are my six affordable. And then my six high end. Did I pick down six? Two, four, six. Yeah, my six high end. Are a little bit of mix of glosses and some lip tints again. This is from Ofra. This is the shade Natural. I haven't really tried this one out, which is why I want to start picking out glosses to use because I can use them alone with a lip liner on top of lipstick. So I feel like they're just like little extra touches. Um, the shade One and Only from um, Dose of Colors. They discontinued the shade already, but I actually like how it's kind of cool tone. Tower 28 Coconut. Cashew, excuse me. Love Tower 28 glosses, especially their uh, milky glosses. So good. And then this one is Dazzled or Dazzling. Dazzling from Sigma. Very beautiful metallic gloss, but it's not so metallic. Let me show you this one. It's actually kind of special because it looks very metallic in the tube, but you can actually sheer it out pretty well. And I just think it's so beautiful. It's such a unique color. Like, that you can share it out pretty well but it's more of a metallic lip gloss this came in their holiday collection if i remember correctly it's so pretty i just think it's so pretty and you don't really feel the the shimmers which is another plus but it's gonna look very pretty a little bit metallic on your lips and then from fenty i have this lip glaze in the shade or this lip what is it called I can't even see it. This thing's so small. There's this kind of shiny lipstick in their Slip Shine Shiny Lipstick in the shade Glazed. I heard that Makeout Break is a lot better as far as like texture wise. I don't really love this one, so I want to give it another chance. And then one of my 
favorite lip products of all times. It's the M Cosmetics, uh, what is this called? Lip Cushion Tinted Lip Luminizer in Venetian Rose. Favorite color, one of my favorite lipsticks, I mean favorite formulas ever, ever, ever to exist. So definitely excited to pick that out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this shot my stash. I hope it wasn't too long. It's almost 30 minutes. Um, I'm at 27. So hopefully when I edit it, it's a little shorter. But yeah, let's keep this outro short. I, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you did. If you wanted me to create any particular looks, um, you guys know I try to do like shot my stash looks using the products that I picked out. So you guys can kind of see what I combine and how I use them. Let me know if you wanted me to use anything specific. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day and take care. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.